Tune's done. Tune's Slow done. You guys see the front is already all, everything's installed. <laughs> Guys, I've scoured through the internet to find a video of a 2010 Mustang being worked on and all I find is 09s or 11s. So I'm bringing you a 2010. My mystique. So what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be installing this Ford Racing intake manifold as well as 80 pound injectors. The original idea was to go with the E85 tune, but unfortunately I would need more fuel system upgrades in order to be able to produce that E85. So for now, we're gonna go with a regular 91 octane with the 80 pound injectors and our Ford Racing intake manifold in there. All right, we got Alec here. He's gonna be maybe helping me step by step along the way. But if you guys want to review his, he's gonna be doing a vlog as well. And you guys gotta check out the Scatty vlogs. Yes, the Scatty vlogs. Check it out. So first thing I'm gonna be doing too right now, guys, is I'm gonna be dismantling everything that has to do with my stock intake. Of course, I have to take off my Steeda bar as well. And then after we dismantle everything, the first thing I'm gonna go for is doing my fuel injectors. I already dismantled in the back. You guys are gonna come back here, take out this little clip and try to start your engine. I already did that just for a precaution while I was getting everything ready. So that guy's all set. Um, grab a couple towels as you will need them because I'm going to be cleaning off where my intake sits, as well as blasting it for all the particles and dust that has been sitting in there with a little bit of aerosol. Um, and obviously we're gonna need to soak up any of that extra fuel that wants to drop out, because obviously we won't <laughs> wanna have any uh, flammable problems happening for us. But uh, first thing we'll probably do is just start tearing this baby apart. So uh, let's get into it. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is basically taking off my Steeda bar. After that, once I take that off, I'm moving in to probably taking off my JLT cold air intake. And then after that, we'll start to get into the goodies of uh, ripping out our vac line. So we're gonna have our A, B, C, and D. So we're gonna have our vac line A, B, C, and the last back line, I believe, is right in the back. But uh, if anything, we'll have to get a closer up view of it. Um, I'm gonna probably having to do some modifications to this back line to cut it, so that way it'll fit easier together. Um, we'll have to do that in a little, but for now, uh, let's start getting into tearing this baby apart. I don't know how well we actually got that, considering my camera likes to move to where it's positioned, but um, we took off the cold air intake. Um, I disconnected our TPS line, the ETC, and our mass airflow. Now we're gonna go for the fuel pump sensor. We're gonna disconnect all of our uh, fuel injectors currently. I don't need to disconnect my, um, my coil packs, so we'll just leave those connected. Um, but then after that, we're gonna pull our fuel rail out and we're gonna change them out. So let's get this done. This is the next objective, it is a fuel rail. So let's get this guy out and um, let's get him changed out. Also, I'm really hoping that this guy's not gonna be a pain, but uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. So let's get to it.
just got them off. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take these guys off. I'm letting fuel leak, oh well. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna take these clips off here. We're gonna cut uh, this line right there at the nipple because we have this new one that we're gonna install that goes underneath the manifold. So uh, let's get that guy going right now. So guys, we have our 80 pound injectors now installed. So what I'm gonna be doing now is taking off my original intake manifold and then setting everything up for the new manifold and our new injector, so. old and with the new though so there's a bit of oil residue built up in this guy and I'm just wondering why maybe from the 10 years it's been in commission or what but uh, it's looking pretty dirty but I'm gonna try to clean off some of it at least um, I'm gonna tape it down, I'm gonna spray around, and uh, let's get this guy put back together uh, with the new intake. We'll see what happens. Wait, first, Richard, tell him how much of a bitch it was to dress that shit. Oh. All right, bro. He dressed it all up. Let's, let's throw that in there. All right. We're going to lower on the beauty and why we all came here. Ooh. Maybe I need a big. To dress this, I had to do all these individual bolts and the nuts and drill them all in. I think there was 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. It was like 25 of them. 25 not, of the bolts, right? Not fun. Uh, but we did what we had to. And now I'm gonna put in our two larger, wherever you are, screws. Here you go. Love again. All right, we're gonna bolt her down, throw our fuel rails in, and then reconnect everything. Throw the tune in, and we'll see what happens. So uh, let's get going, let's get yeah. to it. When did they send you your tune? This morning. That's clean. Moment of truth. Hold on. I don't got my reading. All right. All right. All right. Wait, hold on, hold on. Tune is completely done? Tune's done. Tune's done. You guys see the front is already all, everything's installed. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, I ran out of time. I had to go to work. Um, I'll do a little bit Yo, of uh, that overhead. that shit is loud as hell. That's so fucking loud. That's crazy. When I get back, I'll do a little bit of overhead. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test it out after work. I don't have time. I don't have any room. So uh, hopefully I can really feel some of what it's really going to put down. So honestly, I can't wait. But I got to go to work. Alec will see you there. And guys, check out Scatty Vlogs. If you guys like this video, give it a like. Give it a subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Sound good?